welcome to our Realmsmith Beholder series. I want to welcome you to part one of our How to Paint a WizKids Beholder series. In this episode, we're going to teach you how to prep your miniature as well as base coat it using Vallejo paints. Strap in, here we go. The tools you'll need for this tutorial are a little container of uh, warm soapy water, a bowl of hot water and a bowl of cold water, an old toothbrush, a mold line remover, a hobby knife, super glue, a number two Vallejo Torre brush, a water pot, some paper towels, and a paint palette. All the paints I use for this project are from the Vallejo Game Color line. We've got charred brown, dark flesh tone, a heavy skin tone, heavy brown, off-white, and a heavy sienna. Now before we wash the miniature, we want to take out all of the removable eye stock so they don't get in our way. And the reason we wash our miniature is because sometimes there's oil um, or kind of a greasy sheen to it. We want to make sure that our Vallejo paint adheres to it really well. Now what you're going to do here is you're just going to add some dish soap to some warm water and with a soft bristle toothbrush, you're just going to go ahead and scrub it all over. You don't want to scrub too hard because you don't want to remove the Vallejo primer. Now some of the miniatures come a little bit warped out of the package. Uh, in this case, the Beholder base was the worst of it. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to dip it in hot water and then we're going to dip it in cold water once we have it in the position that we want so it'll rest that way. Here we're going to take a hobby knife and we're just going to uh, cut off all of the major imperfections. Um, on the miniature. Uh, there's a big glob of paint here of uh, primer so we're just gonna scrape that off here with our hobby knife nice and carefully. And then we're also gonna go around the rest of the model um, especially in between the teeth. I wanted to make sure that they were nice and defined. Now this is a bit of an optional step but uh, I like to use a mold line remover. We're using a Citadel one here to just take off all of the mold lines left from the molding process. You can use a hobby knife for this as well. This next step is completely up to you, but I decided that I wanted to glue in all of the eye stocks that I knew I didn't want to remove later. Now on to base coating. Here we're going to use charred brown to base coat all of the scales all over the miniature. Now you don't have to be super careful where you paint and where you don't paint in this stage because we will be painting in other areas later that will cover up those areas. You wanna go nice and not thick necessarily, but you wanna make sure that you get decent coverage in all of the nooks and crannies. Next, we're going to use a dark flesh tone to paint all of the eye stalks and then the kind of sinewy, fleshy areas around the eyes and mouth. These extra opaque colors from Vallejo are actually really great. Um, the coverage on them is awesome. And we're gonna use the heavy skin tone color in order to paint all inside the mouth 
And so that's going to include the tongue area, uh, as well as all around the tongue, and then also uh, the gums. The next color we're going to use is the Vallejo Heavy Brown. Now this is another one of those extra opaque colors which goes on really nice, mostly in one coat. We're going to use this Heavy Brown for all of the bony protrusions uh, all around the beholder as well as its teeth. Next we're on to off-white. may need a couple of coats for this, uh, as white tends to be a bit more translucent than most colors, especially when we're painting over darker areas. But we're going to use the off-white to paint um, the eyeball on the beholder, so the main eye as well as all of the little eyeballs on all of the eye stalks. And finally, we're going to use a heavy sienna to paint uh, the iris of the beholder's main eye. And that concludes our base coating for this tutorial. Thanks for checking out part one. In part two, we're gonna show you how to use Vallejo washes to add depth and shadow to your miniature. Make sure that you like, that you subscribe, you comment, and you share this video. And make sure also that you go to realmsmith.tv to become a member of the realm and check out our monthly crate. We'll see you soon.